It was a cracker of a game, though, wasn't it? Like, I mean, there were points scored. It was exciting. It came down to that last play from you, Josh. Uh, what was going through your head when you put that kick across? Yeah, we sort of uh, we had a few advantages advantages before that and um, we sort of had a time to come together and we sort of said if we get another advantage then um, I was going to kick that and um, I seen I seen the ref put his hand up and we had the advantage and um, I knew from there was going to pass me the ball so yeah I was in a bit of under the pump and didn't have much time to think about the kick so those are probably the better ones that you don't you don't even have to think of, you know you're just just acting so um, that was yeah and then too I humble it, but you were no. the cracker, mate. <laughs> yeah, I seen him. I seen him pluck it out. Man, poor, old, poor old Mitchie Hunt. I felt for the for the poor bugger. Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I felt, I felt bad. Uh, I felt bad. Uh, <laughs> we were saying that they were, they were talking about it before, because um, obviously there was a, a lot of phases before it happened, and that they'd been talking to each other. So yeah, but close mate. Will Jordan's gonna take a ball like that, eh, Josh? Like he's just—that's Will Jordan. He does match-winning stuff, right? Yeah, well, I was saying um, even as other try, you know, I've seen him score so many tries like that against me, and I was just glad I was on the other side of you know, <laughs> and I was on his, his team, you know. So he's one of those guys who just the right time, the right place. Like that's something. Can you teach that, Brad? That just is—that's just instinct, huh? Yeah, it is a little bit, and I think um, fitness probably plays a lot to, in that sort of regard as well. Like if you're, if you're really fit and on top of your, your game um, aerobically, then more likely than not, you're going to be in the right place because uh, you're fit enough to be there. And he's certainly um, like that. He's clearly in great nick. And um, yeah, man, he always pops up in the, in the right spot. Like Josh, he's saying before how he scored a few against him. He's uh, scored a couple against us um, in the same way. So um, he clearly puts a lot of effort in um, to make, Make sure that you can be in the right, those right places that don't always just happen out of luck. Mm. You make your own luck sometimes. Obviously, we had the All Blacks team come out this week. Mm. It's a tough position for you, right? Like, you're, everyone sees you playing real well and they know it, but how many first fives can you fit in the team? And then there are these fullback come first fives that are floating around as well. Like, how did you kind of take the selection? Yeah, I guess um, just like as you said, you know, you got um, two of the best in the world and. Um, Bodie and Richie and um, Damien, who's uh, fullback that can cover 10. So I sort of knew uh, that, you know, that there's potentially no room. Um, so uh, I spoke to Fozzie though, and his, um, the feedback was quite positive in that, you know, being next in line and um, just, you know, my, my job now is just to go back to Mata 10 and um, play well for Otago, which, um, you know, Otago is a lot of fun. I uh, love playing with, down there and uh, with the boys. So um, we're pretty much playing the All Blacks this week in Auckland because they got only so many players. But um, yeah, no, nah, uh, yeah, it, w- it was a hard one. But um, you know, yeah, like I said, my job now is just go in and um, try to put my best foot forward for the Tiger.